uh, people talk often about how video games really did a lot for the, for the expansion of computer literacy, and that's got to be true because gaming was so uh, gaming was such an easy way for people to become involved with computers uh, because of the fun value, because of the uh, they were so intriguing. Video games were were a remarkable addition uh, to to our daily life. And it's so funny because it really centers around even more than just the video game itself, it centers around the arcade. I was passionate about the games in an imaginative kind of way. And now it's really about sort of reconnecting with that. I opened up an arcade as an excuse to be able to play more video games. I remember back in like 81 or 82, the arcade scene was huge. Everywhere you would turn would be an arcade. I mean, you couldn't get away from them. I got older, I started missing the nostalgia of, 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 of the games and of the, the social life I had with the friends, so I started collecting my own games to bring back both the nostalgia and a new social group of people that enjoy what I enjoy, which is playing the classic games. Where do I begin? Uh, I just remember going to the arcade with my dad when I was younger. And, uh, it's just that memory of just going into the arcade, stepping foot into it, opening the doors, and just hearing a blast of sound hitting the face. Uh, just seeing rows of games with people lined up to play them. And uh, the, the arcade was alive. This is the friendship is as big a part of collecting the arcade games as the arcade games are. I mean, as passionate as we are, the nostalgia and all that, you and I have developed a great friendship finding these games, preparing these games. I mean, it is just a blast. It's one of the things that, for me, is the collecting of the games is not only something that brings back memories, but the collecting of it is, like, it, it gets into you. It really does. You start feeling like these games are a part of you. You rode your bike outside and maybe you went to the arcade. And you cashed in all those bottles, all yeah, those cans. absolutely. What I miss the most about uh, arcade games was looking forward to the new game. No matter how much space you have, you find out a way to fill it. And then you don't have space anymore. Yeah, yeah. So you have one of two options. Buy more storage units or sell games. And you know, you can't sell games. That you want to buy more and more, and then your garage just gets overrun with games, and then you're out of room. I had track and field for one year, and three years later, now I have like 12 machines, and I don't, I don't see it stopping. I don't know. Um, if people that are into this have some sort of disorder. I started 
started to realize that playing these things um, just sort of brought me back to, you know, being a kid again. For the great care, time, and dedication given this wonderful hobby of ours, we present this plaque to show our appreciation and thanks to Richie Knuckles. We also officially name Richie Knuckles Arcade the King of Arcades. <laughs>